All right. Uh, good morning. I'm not going to do the beer show this morning, but just because I had to call into work today, I don't want them thinking that's the reason I called in. So, because it's not. I woke up this morning at my normal time and uh, was feeling pretty ill with something in my stomach stomach issue I'm not going to get into details but let's just say I had it coming out both ends so I called in sick today which I really was sick man I'm feeling better now uh, like four hours later um, I just just now woke up man and it's like almost noon And, um, I still, I, I'm, at least I'm not, uh, throwing up, um, like I was this morning. I won't get into the other detail, but I'm, I'm okay. I'm, I'm feeling better. I think it's just some bad food or something. I got a hold of some, some bogus food and it didn't agree with me. So it kind of messed me up a little bit, but I don't think I'm sick actually. Something I ingested, some food. I'm trying to think what I ate. I'm just glad I'm starting to feel better. That's all I can say. And I do have the rest of the day off. This is cool. I do have sick pay, so they'll compensate me for it. Um. Oh boy. Oh. Oh, man. So, yeah. Um, 81 days, no boost, which is very cool. But, yeah, I hear my stomach gurgling. Maybe I did have a little bug or something. I don't know. Because yesterday when I was at work, uh, I was, was getting some cold chills. Um, getting a little cold chills while I was at work. And uh, maybe I was getting a little bug, a little, a little sick of, you know, something got me a little bit, maybe. 24-hour bug. You ever heard of that? 24-hour flu? Maybe that's what I had. I still, I had a headache, too, actually. But I know food poisoning can give you a headache and all that stuff. I didn't plug in my laptop. I better do that. So... Yesterday when I was at work, I put in for a couple of days off around one of my weekends so I can have like four days off in a row. I hope they improve that because I'm going to use that. I'm going to make plans to do, get this pad done once and for all because I am so sick of not having it the way I want it. It's making me feel bad. Like It just sucks. It, it's affecting how I how I feel <laughs> not physically just like mentally because you know I don't want to have anybody over really until I get get it to how I want it I wouldn't want to, <clears throat> wouldn't want someone thinking I'm a slob or something you know which right now if they came over they would think I'm a slob because right now I am a slob the way this place is I mean that's not like unhealthy uh, messy. It's just unorganized because I do clean areas that I, you know, am exposed to. But like all the stuff that is cluttered, you can't clean that spot. So that's what I'm talking about. You know, you got to, everything's got to be in a certain spot. That way you can clean that area or whatever. Or just not have clutter. I just got too much stuff, man. There's too many bikes and shit. Like, you know. I got my roommate. I got all his shit. He's still in the nursing home, but he's going to be here soon. Hopefully, if he doesn't change his mind. Um, I just want to get it all organized. That way, when he does get here, everything's, you know, nice and organized. And he can just, you know, come right in and. 
and be at home, you know. I don't know, man. It's, it's going to be tough how that one's going to work because he's so fucked up, man. It's basically a quad. So, um, we'll see how that goes. All right, we already been talking about that, so me and him, so I let him know that, you know, that um, he still has the option to opt out if that's what he needs to do, because this is new territory for me and him, because uh, I've never had a roommate that was basically a quad, uh, you know, I don't even know if they'll let him, we'll, we'll see, they, they might not even let him move over here, because um, you know, he's got special needs, a lot of special needs. But I'll do what I can to help help him. He's my friend, man. He's like a brother to me. And I'll do whatever, you, you know, I'm even offering my place, you know, to put him up so he has a place to be. But right now, where he's at, he's okay. But, you know, we're trying to think down the road here and give him some options, you know. So... I might go see him today, actually. I think I'm going to go pay him a visit, make sure he's doing good. It's been a couple days. So since I got the day off, I think I'll dart up there and go see him. I'm feeling better. Oh, oh. Crunchy neck. Oh, man. I had the worst headache, too, man. Like, oh, my God. I woke up at, like, 5 in the morning, and I sat up. And I just, I was nauseous, and got up, puked, you know, had it coming out both ends for probably an hour. And I was, you know, I was sound asleep and I woke up feeling like that. Headache, diarrhea, puking. Got it out, went back, <gasps> laid back down, didn't wake up till three hours later. Woke up again, felt, felt, start feeling better. So that was good. Here I am. I was going to call work, um, and to see if they wanted me to come in still, but you know, in case I, it is a bug or something I got, I don't think I'd want to go to the office and spread the bug if I have one. So that wouldn't be very fair to everybody. Knowing that I'm sick and still going in like that, that's not cool. So, I'll just, um, you know, just take, enjoy my day off. It's paid. You know, I, I did earn the time, I did earn the time to take off if I am sick, which I am. So, I'll just take the day off and, and not call and see if they need me to come in. Because I'm pretty sure they got it covered anyways. You know. So, I got 80. 80, I think it's 81 days, yeah. No boost. Yeah, on me, good on me, good on me, yeah, on me. I'm doing good in that department. It's not even an issue, really. I kicked it. I kicked it for good. I, I know in my heart this time it's for real. Uh, that That stuff's out of my life. I, I, I'm over it. I am over that. Um, like I always said, alcohol is always going to be a part of my life. Um, I've accepted that because I, that's just something I do. You know, it's just all about control with that. You know, I'm still working on that. Uh, I did okay last night. You know, I did the beer battle, which is Modelo and Miller. Um, these two. Okay, those two, I drank those, these are like only like four and a half percenters, not even five percent, so these are kind of light, okay, those are kind of light, and then I did pull down one of these, okay, and then one of these, okay, I said I wasn't going to do this, but I might as well, since I'm talking about it, so that's all I drank yesterday. Um, so this probably like, there's my three right there. So this, this one here is probably the over. Okay. Cause 
this one here probably is equal to one of these, I'd say. So I only went one over, so I wasn't smashed. It wasn't that much beer, so. Okay. And, uh, yeah, that's all I had right there. And that was all day. Yeah. Well, not all day, but what is today? Let me see here. It's Friday, right? Yeah. After work. Yeah, Thursday. Yeah, I worked yesterday. Duh. <laughs> okay, so that's it. That's not bad. I mean, that's only really only like one over, so. Uh, Miller, that's a light beer. So anyways, um, then, yeah, of course, a little bit of this stuff, which I only smoked like a half bowl. So nothing, nothing unusual there. Um, I was actually very surprised that Miller High Life beat Modelo in a beer battle. I really was surprised about that. Um, Miller is a damn good beer, man. It really is. For a mass-produced beer, it's, it's pretty damn good, man. I see why they have a cult following. I, I get it. Well, I feel like I gotta go uh, squirt again. Yeah, I think I gotta go squirt. I take a, you know, still got some issues going on, I guess. I'm gonna have to run to the restroom. Um, anyways, uh, I'm doing okay. I got the day off today. Um, I'm gonna be spending some more time in the bathroom, it looks like. Anyways, have a great day. Later.